We will praise you, O Lord, with our whole heart. We will show forth all your marvelous works, and we will sing and rejoice in you. Sing praise to your name, O Most High. Praise be to God. This is yet another video, so you guys are getting a lot of videos from me today. And this video is based on an article by Forbes Magazine's Guy Martin. And he's talking about the fact that things have kind of complicated the making of the match between Deontay Wilder and Tyson Fury. By Tyson Fury signing with Bob Arum, having Frank Warren as, of course, his promoter in England, and now sort of joining leagues with Bob Arum for whatever reason and top rank and then using the platform of ESPN instead of Showtime uh, it kind of complicates the negotiations between uh, Wilder's team with Al Heyman and Shelley Finkel who are the managers and uh, with Showtime and with uh, you know the overall making of the fight the first time the fight was easy to make. It was just a matter of phone calls and that was it. The second time, this is going to complicate things. Now Tyson Fury obviously wants to still get a fight with Deontay Wilder, at least it seems so. But his movements seem to betray him. The move to ESPN, for instance, a sporting platform, doesn't complicate it with Deontay Wilder. Deontay Wilder is a free agent and the contract with Showtime is on a fight to fight basis. But what is even more interesting, though, is that Tyson Fury seems not to be interested in an immediate rematch with Deontay Wilder. It seems as though Tyson Fury is looking for some sort of fight, I don't know what, through ESPN, with some boxer of some kind that's at the top level. Now, Tyson Fury says he's looking and expecting big fights with ESPN. I don't know how that's going to happen. To be honest with you, I don't know what his arrangement is with top rank, if it's some sort of fight-by-fight -fight basis with top rank. I don't know what it is. He's obviously, his promoter is Frank Warren in the UK, so I'm not quite sure why he's got a co-promoter in Bob Arum, top rank. Then I also don't know why he is with ESPN. I don't know how long the negotiations are with ESPN, etc, etc, etc. But by Tyson Fury doing this, it sort of makes negotiations between Bob Arum especially and Al Heyman's promoted fighter Deontay Wilder much more difficult seeing that Bob Arum has always been and had animosity to Al Heyman for reasons unknown to me as Al Heyman is not even a promoter he is actually a manager like Shelley Finkel and um, therefore Al Heyman hasn't broken any rules or anything he just manages fighters so it should be relatively easy for Bob Arum to work with Al Heyman uh, I make a fight between Wilder and Fury possible. But you all know that Bob Arum will not make it easy. And like I said before, if you want to talk about a cancer in boxing, you know Bob Arum is the cancer in boxing. So I was kind of astounded that Tyson Fury would sign with top rank. But then again, a number of other fighters have signed with top rank. And it could be because of Bob Arum's stepson, Todd LaBeouf, while Tyson Fury probably was courted into signing with top rank. Or it could have been because of people such as um, Freddie Roach. Probably encouraged him down that way. Whatever the reason, I know that Tyson Fury's arrangement with top rank is not the same as someone else who signed to top rank. Obviously Tyson Fury is signed to Frank Warren. That's not changing anytime soon. So that probably top rank is simply the promoter in the United States for Tyson Fury. That means that if we don't know the details of Tyson Fury's situation, then we can't really know whether Bob Arum can block a fight between Tyson Fury and Deontay Wilder. But it does make it much more complicated for Deontay Wilder to face Tyson Fury now. And so what we've seen in reports just up to recently there, where there was an interview with, uh, I forgot what his name is, uh, but uh, he was reporting it looks like Deontay Wilder will be facing um, another Olympian in the form of Dominic Brazil 
I personally never really rated Dom Dominic Brazil as, as any great sort of boxer or fighter, but it'd be nice to see Dante Wilder knock him out. If I'm not mistaken, Dominic Brazil has been knocked out before, and if I'm not mistaken, he was knocked out by either Anthony Joshua. So, Dante Wilder facing Dominic Brazil sounds interesting, but we are supposed to expect the same result, but Dante Wilder would knock out Dominic Brazil. Not really enthusiastic about that, to be honest with you. I was enthusiastic about Deontay Wilder facing Tyson Fury, and not really any other fight at this point in time. I'm sure Wilder is also interested in that, and so he will work towards that when he can get it. But honestly speaking, I think Tyson Fury, I know he's trying to better himself, but I still think that his move makes for negotiations for the second fight, the rematch, to be a lot more difficult. And it seems as though the rematch negotiations were close to being completed according to Eric Espinosa. But it is what it is. So that's the follow-up on Tyson Fury versus Deontay Wilder. Hopefully we will see that in the not too distant future. But if not, well, this is boxing and boxers do all kinds of things. So it is what it is. On that note, you guys have a great one.